Hey guys, welcome to Code Java Interview Question and Answer. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about one of the very important Java interview question. And question is here: Which data type would you choose for storing currency values like trading prices or any kind of monetary uh, amount? Uh, what's your opinion about float, double, and big decimal? Yeah. So let's try to understand the concept behind this data type first of all. And we'll see a few example to understand the, all the concept here. Yeah? So here, uh, float and double are basically bad for financial world. Uh, never use them for monetary calculations. So these things you will have to keep in mind. Why so? We will discuss further. So there are two main reasons supporting this statement. First, all floating point values that can represent a currency amount uh, in dollar or cents can cannot be stored exactly it is in the memory right so if we want to store a uh, 0.1 dollar or 10 cents uh, in double float can not be stored as it is right now there is not much flexibility provided by the math dot round method for rounding the given calculation result compared to functionality offered by the uh, math context like uh, rounding mode provides oh, basically options such as uh, rounding up rounding down rounding ceiling rounding floor rounding unnecessary so these are the basically uh, rounding uh, uh, options is provided by the big decimal right so these are the basically when you deal with the double data type uh, when you use math dot round then these are the flexibility is not provided there yeah so here are the key points like uh, 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 big decimal uh, for the rescue right uh, in this kind of situation uh, big decimal represents a signed decimal number of arbitrary precision uh, with an associated scale big decimal provides full control over the precision and rounding of the number value virtually it's possible to calculate value of pi to 2 billion decimal places using big decimal right that's the reason we should always prefer big decimal or big integer for cal financial calculation right so some of the key points you should know it like uh, primitive type also you can use uh, for the financial world like uh, int and long are also useful for monetary calculation if decimal precision is not required and uh, one of the things you should always keep in mind we should not really uh, we should really avoid using big decimal uh, constructor which accepts double value right instead prefer big decimal which accept uh, which accept uh, a string data type because uh, when you use big decimal which accept uh, basically uh, uh, double data type which will result in some some unpredictable result right uh, so that will not uh, represent exact amount in the memory so instead we should always prefer big decimal which accept a string as an argument right which will store data as it is in the memory so here uh, what you can see in the uh, basically here uh, here you can see big decimal and 0 0.1 which is uh, basically accepting one uh, a string data type so this will store exactly 0 0.1 so if you try to use a constructor big decimal which accepts basically 0 0.1 double then in memory this that will be represented as like uh, as something like this which is not accurate right now first uh, when you want to deal uh, uh, with the some kind of monetary uh, amount right so you should know what is precision and scale right so precision is the total number of digits or significant digits of the real number a scale specifies number of digits after uh, decimal places right let's say example you have a for 45.782 right so it has the precision of 5 because total number of digits is 5 and after that decimal you have a 3 digits so a scale is 3 it's pretty straightforward right uh, now, uh, some precaution you should take when you use a big decimal for financial world, right? So, as I said earlier, uh, we should use a big decimal constructor which accept, which accept basically a string, uh, a string, right? Uh, so, big decimal a string constructor should always be preferred over big decimal double, right? Convert double value to uh, a string using double dot to a string, right? So, uh, double primitive uh, sorry uh, yeah double uh, wrapper class is having a method is called two string it's a static method so directly you can call by the class name and there you can pass the double and you'll get the corresponding a string representation of that number right and that you can pass to the double constructor a big decimal constructor right 
rounding mode should be provided while setting the scale so when you use big decimal you should provide the rounding so uh, rounding uh, as a scale so after a decimal you may have a uh, 10 digits right but uh, how many digits you want uh, in the calculation right uh, there is a method is called uh, basically strip telling zeros which will chop all the trailing zeros when you use uh, basically big decimal and uh, last point uh, you have a two string uh, may use scientific notation but the two plain string will never uh, return exponential in its result so when you use a uh, big decimal then instead of using two string we should call the two plain string which will which will which it will never return you the exponentiation that will return you number uh, in the decimal format so there are few points you, you could not find you could not understand so let's try to understand these things through an example yeah so here is the eclipse and i have coded a couple of example offline and i'm going to show you so here uh, first example it is first example you can here you can see what i have written here total equals to 0 0.2 it's a double and uh, here in double i'm calculating something like this so i'm iterating loop 100 times and just in 0 0.2 0, uh, 0.2 i'm adding 100 times 0 0.2 so let's see how result comes so if i run uh, this application then here you can see uh, uh, we are getting return something like this but this is not exactly basically uh, correct result right so uh, if you are dealing with the financial world uh, some kind of uh, trading prices or some kind of any monetary amount then this kind of uh, result we are not expecting so uh, to rescue this one uh, we have a big decimal already we have discussed and that's what i have created uh, same example using big decimal so here you can see amount is, is still in double and here i have created a constructor which accepts a string argument so basically double is having a two string method here I, I am passing this amount and that's converted this guy will convert into a string and so i'm using here you, you should note i'm using here so here i'm using big decimal constructor which accepts a uh, double uh, string data type right and this is a let's say this is a total amount and again i'm iterating uh, 100 times loop and the same amount i'm trying to add over here right so here here even you can put something like this instead of hard coding we can put like this right and uh, let's see result what uh, what result we are getting in this case so here you can see 20.0 uh, is the our expectation right and that we are getting over here so here you can see how a big decimal is rescuing us right so in earlier example uh, when we were using uh, basically double uh, data type for calculation th then we are uh, getting output something like this right so here uh, this output uh, has been 20.20 uh, or uh, 20.2 right so 20 dollar uh, 20 cents right but uh, floating point calculation made it 20.199999 and several times nine and then six right so if you use a uh, big decimal then exact calculation you'll get right so here you can see uh, 20 dollar 20 cents you get so this is the basically a uh, correct way to use uh, basically big decimal for financial calculation now in last point what we had discussed uh, uh, in last point what we have discussed uh, we might get uh, basically exponentiation in the calculation result if we do not uh, follow some best practices while using big decimal right so here is the code basically uh, this is the code snippet uh, which shows a good uh, use, a good usage of example of handling calculation result using big decimal so here you can see i have a basically number let's say uh, here i have hard coded but you might be dealing with the some uh, data you are reading from the data sources and you are applying some kind of a scale right and calculation so here we have a amount something like this and a scale i have set it as four right and now here big decimal here we are uh, 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 we are using a big decimal constructor which accepts a string as an argument so finally this value i have converted into a string data type and here yeah i am setting the scale a scale as a four and uh, one constant is called uh, round half even so you can go through the what is the significance of this there are several constants 
it declared in the big decimal so that is a totally different uh, concept uh, which takes uh, some time now here big decimal just i am printing over here and here after big decimal i am calling a street trailing, trailing zero and after that two plane string so we had discussed in the slide about these two methods so this is basically this method uh, this method these two methods basically first let's talk about the strip trailing zero so this will strip out the, all the trailing zeros from the big decimal and this will convert the number into the exact uh, number and, uh, that will not uh, when you call two plane string then this is not your big decimal is not going to uh, print in the exponentiation form right else th that may print if you call two string method that may print number in the exponential uh, ex exponentiation format that we want right so if i run this application so here you can see here in this line big decimal we are printing uh, in four uh, decimal point and here also so uh, output of both the sop sop is same right so here you can see uh, we wanted to print uh, four decimal places right and fifth decimal places is either uh, five or greater than five then one will be added in the last uh, decimal right point so that's what uh, we have a uh, 0.2223 right now let's say i am going to comment this guy and this line of uh, code i am going to uncomment now what's the let's see what's the output now here you can see all the trailing zero, zero is uh, basically uh, removed right so here if you can see output of uh, up to here we are getting uh, 0 0.2 and 3 times 0 right but there is no use of this zero so we wanted to strip out and that's what we call this strip telling zeros right and we wanted number in the correct number format we don't want the exponential for exponentiation format so you may get or may you may not get uh, two uh, you may not get uh, a number in the scientific format or exponentiation from format uh, so if you your number is really huge then this number may be printed in the exponentiation format and if you want to avoid that that, that one then you can call two plane string right and here you can see in last output trailing zero has been uh, basically removed because of calling this method so that's all guys i have in this video tutorial uh, if you really enjoyed this video then please hit on the like button and if you did not subscribe my channel till yet then please do, ahead, do go, go ahead and please subscribe it and if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com and whatever source code i have shown in this slide that i am going to post on my blog kkjavatutorials.com and there are many more interview question i i had posted on this website please go and uh, uh, you will have a lot of learning. Thank you again.